Okay, and here we go again. We are back in the Chozo Ruins. I forgot my fucking remote again. Okay. Let's get switched over to video, hopefully before the thing that... No, no, I fucked up. Okay, we're good. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This is now episode two. I was actually so pleased with, uh... How everything turned out for the last one that I decided, fuck it, let's go ahead and make a part two real quick. And it would be nice if I could fucking get down strafing and shit, but I cannot apparently do that because um, I have the reflexes of a fight girl. Alright, and there we go. Okay, so now I'm gonna roll through this hall, hopefully avoid the scarabs. Uh, I don't. Let's see. The healing station. I'm trying to remember now if uh, safe stations heal your. Oh, Christ. Mm, get up the thing, get up the thing. They're all right there. Not the case, like... Jesus, does it take 10 shots? Good god, that was at least like seven, nine, something like that. Oh, hold on. So what I want to do real quick before I get any further over there. Really, really carefully. Okay, one. Two. Cool. So now the only- Oh, I should, probably should have- No, I have the war- the regular war wasp data already, so I'm good. Um... Oh, bad idea, bad idea, bad idea. If I started earlier, that probably would have been okay, but I didn't. So, let's just handle these guys. I will just roll past these ones. And I don't want bomb yet. I was trying to get Chozo lore. The Chozo lore in this is actually the lore in this game just in general is really interesting. You find out a lot about a. Oh, I got in the water. Oh yeah, it doesn't help that everything's. Th I probably should have kept those plasmites alive, but I didn't. I'm gonna keep this one alive though. Um. Oh, shoot that. Okay, I got the shriek back. Okay, cool. And I didn't get hit. If I remember right, those things are also pretty damn cool. Okay, so now right here to the right, left, we have Reaper Vines, which really not that bad. The only way you're ever going to get hit by them is if you're really not careful about anything you ever do. I'll go ahead and scan this room. Save station detected. We'll go ahead and let that play out. <clears throat> oh my god, it's exactly where I pretty much knew it was gonna be. Oh, there's another one. Um, we'll head up here, because I think. Oh, uh, that's a war boss pipe. And shit. That's what I was trying to avoid really quick. Oh, but they did give me that. So I will go ahead and take that scan. And I'll take that one too. Do I get a research for that? No? Okay. And I can't pull them in. So we're just gonna go ahead and ignore all that then. Take out these Reaper Vines one by one. It's really nice that there's no uh, friendly fire on your missiles. Although it would be really great if I could not get caught on the corners of walls. You would think, you know, Samus being the incredible edible badass that she is. But, um, corners of walls would not be something that, uh, stand in her way consistently. Oh, yeah, we're about to go get bomb! Oh, shit, yeah. I'll go ahead and, uh, save real quick. Oh, my god, please. 
I can only imagine what this getting caught on walls is saying about the future of uh, this gameplay. And they don't, yeah, they don't respawn that quick, so that's good. Oh, hello, Blast Caps. I definitely forgot that you were there for a second. Yeah, see, and if you run in like that, oh, no, apparently not. See, he's, see, the closer I get, the more he freaks out. Like, if I back away, he's fine, but if I get close, he freaks the fuck out. And if I, no? Huh. Alright. I guess that's okay. Um, I'm not gonna head upstairs yet, just because there is, I mean, there's a pickup I can get here in a bit. But, in order to actually get it, I need more Fall Bomb. Which, I'll be getting here in just a second. Hey game, I know that I can't open the Missile Blast door with the... Um, uh, there's one. We have to... This is kind of like in the previous room. Um, there's a bunch of runic symbols we have to scan in order to get the things. There's one... Yeah, right there. there we go. Two... One is there, and then, if I remember right, the one is on the floor over here. Ah, oh, shit. Come on. Oh, man. Where is it? I mean, I got three out of four of them, unless it's like... Oh, wow. No, I was exactly right, I just wasn't at the right angle for it. Okay. We'll go ahead and go back. Wait, oh, okay. It's above me. There's another Reaper Vine here. Last caps here, which I'm gonna carefully avoid. Vine. Da, 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 da. Oh shit, okay, I didn't think I was gonna make that for a sec. And then this is pretty easy because right behind this door is the charge beam. Oh, and a Chozo one. We'll go ahead and grab that. And charge beam. The cool thing is, now that I have charge beam, I can actually destroy the ions. Um, it takes a while because you have to charge your beam. But, um, it is nice to not have to worry about them coming back to just completely wreck you. And if you can get... Let's see, right about there. You can actually destroy two of them at once. Now, I uh, will let you know right there, there's a hole which I can get into once I get the Morph Ball Bomb, which actually now we're going to go get because I was wrong. Um, we get Morph Ball Bomb next. I thought it was right now, but um, Charge Beam is actually right now, clearly. And then, um, which is going to help a lot with getting the Morph Ball Bomb. Because we have to fight another mechanized enemy. Hey, I'm seeing a pattern in this area. Um, mechanized enemies, yeah, are for some strange reason really prevalent here. Missile. I just want to get that over with. 
Superman. Oh, yes, he's dead back. Can I score some missiles off, please? Oh, yeah, I can. Boom. Full missiles. I'll go ahead and save again real quick. Just to make sure that I don't fuck up for whatever reason. And then... Go ahead. Head back out here. Now we're going to be heading upstairs. Quote, unquote, upstairs. Uh, okay, yeah, we go over here. Oh, hello, other blast cap. Oh, shit. Oh, water. Oh, shit. Yeah. And you may wonder why, like, in some sort of toxic environments, like, where you have to deal with things like toxic water and shit like that, people will, like, constantly jump out of the water and things if you're not really familiar with video games. Um, the damage is only dealt when you're in that substance. So, jumping like that, if you can manage to actually remove yourself from that area, um, or from that substance, is actually doing a lot of good for you. And I'm not necessarily going to be worried about this. Man, I forgot how hard it is to see platforms sometimes in this game. Oh, hi, other blast cap. You are really in my way. Oh, ow. Ow, that hurt a lot more than I thought it was going to. And if you, I mean, you see me blasting on the ceilings, that's literally just, oh, okay. Samus, can you, Samus, please. Um, I'm just taking care of street bats before they can take care of me. Alright, jump. That jump used to give me so much trouble when I first ever picked up this game. Oh, shit. Yeah, luckily Shrink Bats only take like a couple hits. And... This is another Ion Tunnel. God, I hate Ions. They're just fucking annoying. And, um, as demonstrated in the last part, they hurt like hell. So I try to, uh, take care of them now rather than later. And... I know they're gonna respawn later, but that's kind of a mute point. Mute point. However the fuck it's supposed to be said. For God's sake. Oh. Alright, I guess I'm on the wrong side then. I guess it was the left side. I definitely thought it was the right side I was supposed to go through, but uh... I guess I'm wrong. So, we're gonna come across an enemy here in a sec. It's called the Stone Toad. And they're pretty interesting just for the fact that they uh, actually attempt to eat you, whereas other enemies just try to kill you. Give me a sec, I have to scratch myself. Not like that. Please, people, keep it PG. I'm just kidding, I really don't care. I cuss all the time. So, yeah, this is the Stone Toad. Grey Zone creature is smaller than itself, vulnerable from only within, which is why we need the Morph Ball Bomb. It's able to remain still for days, blah, blah, blah. Anything it can't digest, it will eventually throw back up. Which is convenient that it can't, you know, eat me because I would like to not be eaten. So. Yeah, here we go. This is the incinerator. Oh my god, the incinerator drone. So the interesting thing about this boss fight is it has much. It's like the hive mecha, where it has its own specialized war wasp, and I didn't discuss that in the last one. But the boss fights that include war wasps, I think it's just this and hive mecha. Um, both have their own specialized war wasp, which you can only get in those particular fights. Um, not to mention that they are boss fights themselves, which means that you can only get them during that particular fight. So, what it does is, as an incinerator, incinerator drone, it does have a fire capability. Okay, do I get... that's just more boss fight. Okay, good, we... holy shit. what we do. Start blasting the shit out of that. Okay, now I'm getting this ready. 
Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Oh my god, please. So now I've got both scans for this area, so I don't have to worry. These war wasps are um, specifically really annoying, just because what they do is um, they fire projectiles at you. And projectiles, pretty much in any game, just kind of suck to hit. Those guys specifically suck just because you have to deal with the war wasps while you're trying to fight the uh, incinerator drone. And then, like I said, I don't think I get, yeah, I don't get research entries from that, so that's okay. I think in Metro Prime 2, you might, oh, hold on, I think I do get one from that, though. Yes, I do. Sweet. Oh, I might want to actually try to scan the regular ones, too. Oof. Oof. So now, we have more focus. Bomb, which is gonna let us take care of a lot of different things now. Um, Morph Ball Bomb just opened up a world of different upgrades for us. So let's see, we are looking to go here. Where? Alright, and we'll blow these up just to see if we can get some health. Oh, yeah! That's what I'm talking about. So, Morph Ball Bomb can open doors, which is very nice. And it allows you to jump. It also allows you to double jump, which I just uh, showed off in the very first part. Come on. Come on, just open the thing. Alright, so now what we're gonna... Oh, shit. Ow, ow, ow. Alright. That's the thing, is if you can kill those guys quick enough, they don't actually hurt. Alright, so... Yeah, I'm actually gonna go through Energy Spike Detected. Alright, what are you talking about? Furnace, actually, that's exactly where I'm going. I think this is just for a uh, energy tank, really. Um... These guys aren't here, but I know that these ones are. Where are they? There. I knew I was missing at least one. Scared the shit out of me, too. Alright, so now we're going to go ahead and go back to where we just encountered that stone toad we're going to use. Oh yeah, which reminds me, I need to scan that because I do get a research entry for bomb slots and uh, more fault spinners. Which we will encounter later. Probably, I, th I think the first one we encounter is in Magmore Caverns. get that one, and then there's one more. And this is why I also took care of the uh, Shriek Bats earlier, just so that I don't have to deal with them now, because that would be a problem if they knocked me off the ledges. And here we go. Boom. 
And with that, we can go grab what I'm pretty sure is an energy tank. So we will go do that. We are also not very far from... Well, not entirely sure, honestly. Um, you're gonna have to give me a sec with this one. Because we don't come over to this furnace area very often in the game. There's just not much going on over this way. Um, oh yeah, we just go straight over here. And like that, we get our second energy chain, which I think it's possible to get three, maybe four before Quick Era. I know where another one is right off the top of my head. Um, and I know that there's at least a couple missile expansions that we can go pick up, and I definitely forgot that, uh, I haven't checked the time yet. I forgot to start my stopwatch. That's an interesting phrase to think about. I forgot to start my stopwatch. Whatever. Okay, so, Shriek Bats again here. The nice thing is, the power beam, at least, I don't know about any of the others, the power beam, at least, has a little bit of homing to it. Alright, so here's an upgrade up here. Pretty difficult to get, though. You can wait until later with the uh, space jump boots, but uh, I don't fucking feel like it, so let's see. Oh, yeah. And just like that. Okay, now. I'll just go ahead and jump down here. Also here, we've got to deal with these guys again. The enemies do respawn like every like few rooms or something like that. I'm not exactly sure how the spawning works. Um, it is particularly annoying when dealing with Shriek Bats. And, um, later I will have to try to remember to, um, grab the scan for the Ice Shriek Bats. Because, as I was talking about in the uh, first part, um, oh no, oh no. Okay. Wow, that sucked. I honestly feel like- oh god, I missed a tiny blast cap, really? Fuck, how about that? Um, there is a point after you grab the wave beam, I believe, um, where you cannot get the scan for Ice Shriek Pets anymore because they completely despawn from the world. So, uh, this is gonna suck. I'm gonna- Kill these guys real quick. Yeah, this is essentially telling me that it's time to go fight up Lagara. Alright, we'll go ahead and. Yeah, the big room right next to us, essentially, that's where we fight Lagara. And I forget if I can. There is a, another speedrunning trick. That you can use to fight Plagara. Um, I don't particularly remember if I can do it though. It's not that it's hard at all. Like that has nothing. Uh, missile. Missile. Nice. And later, there's some more. There's an, at least, I think, one other upgrade up there. 
Um, but we can't do anything until we get the spider ball, and we can't get the research entry until we get um, spider ball either, so it's kind of pointless. I don't think these guys will respawn. Yeah, never mind. There's one, two. Four. But yeah, we're just gonna try and uh, get ourselves ready for Plagara right now. Yeah, I'm not falling for that again. I don't know why I did that. Oh, wow. Fuck it, just go. Oh my god. Wow. I just ate shit into infinity and beyond. That was great. Oh, uh, please don't let any of these hit me or I'll just fucking kill myself now. Alright. Cool, so we're good there. Um, as far as this section of, um, Chosa Ruins goes, we, um, in terms of, like, where we are in the map at least, we're pretty much done on this part of the map. Um,. Like I said, there's a couple of other upgrades. I think there's one in the War Wasp room. I believe there is something over in the room that we ended up in right after we fought the Hive Totem. And... So we're gonna go there real quick and collect everything in those uh, few rooms there. I'm just gonna jump. Like, fuck it, I don't care. I only took four damage. I'm not worried about it. Shriek bats. Grab the health, I guess. Whatever. So we're making our way downtown. I don't know the lyrics to that song, man. Oh my god, can I please get some light over here, Plasmite? Do your fucking job. Know that I kind of brutally murdered your entire- Oh, ow. Oh, only two? That's not bad. I'm not even out of, like, missiles or anything, so I'll just ignore them for now. Uh, it'd be really cool if I can- oh my god, yes. Sweet. Now, there is a couple upgrades out here. There's one there. Actually, there's a few then. There's one right in that little hole kind of thing. There's one there, and then there's one directly beneath me. Um... You can't get that one without the grapple beam, you can't get that one without super missile, and you can't get the one below me without, um, oh my god, I can't even remember what the fuck it's called, uh, boost ball. You can, but it's, it's really difficult. Fuck it, I'll, I'll give it a shot real quick, but I need to um, kill these guys first. I don't know why I'm shooting like that, don't ask me. I just... This is something, it's just a thing I'm doing right now, apparently. Okay, and I also don't have to deal with war wasps right now. Um, which is nice. Well, okay, I do have to deal with one up here. Um... I will try and get this one. I'll give it maybe three or four shots. Oh. Oh! So, something kind of cool. You can actually make those birds go pop. Alright, so. Uh, it is directly under there. 
Oh, wait, actually, I don't think I can even attempt the uh, speedrunner thing without a speedrunner way of getting it without uh, space jump boots. So we're just gonna completely ignore it for right now. And... Alright, plated beetle's gonna show up, I think. No? Oh, hello! Oh! You guys surprised the fuck out of me. Okay, now here's the question. Is Play the Beetle showing up or no? I mean, because that showed up just... That essentially played out like a uh, shorter version of um, the boss fight we had here. So, I mean, I guess he didn't show, so... I don't have to... Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. No, that's just... It's writing, but it's not an actual lore. Um, you'll be able to tell where there's lore at, um, if you haven't picked up on it by now, by where there's a wall that's shining with writing on it. Um, that's how you tell where Chozo War is, anyway. Um, for Space Pirate Logs, um, you just have to have your scan visor and just kind of take a look at any of the computers, and generally the red ones are going to have space pirate logs. Okay. I hate you all. I've got 32 missiles. Fuck it, let's do it. Cool. That's taken care of. Let's head back up here. Um, speed running trick I'm gonna try when we get to uh, Flagara is actually pretty interesting. Um, from what I remember of it, what you do is you just jump into the water, go into Morph Ball real quick, get as close as you can to the bomb slot, um, because the bomb slot, those particular bomb slots run on proximity instead of actually being in the slot. Um, So, you don't have to worry about, um, so much being, you don't have to worry at all about being in the slot. The only thing you have to worry about is, um, whether or not you are actually within close enough proximity for the explosion to reach, um, the trigger for the, uh, bomb slot. Which... Hold on a sec. That's sandstone, sandstone, what's that? What's that? Okay. Alright, so I guess we're good. So what we do here is one... Two... Blow this shit up. Alright. Alright. Cool, that sucked. I was just trying to stay in more ball for the sake of convenience. Um. Are you kidding? Are you fucking serious? It's not gonna let me blow it up unless I'm actually right here. Like, fuck you, that's ridiculous. Alright, so we'll go ahead and do, like, this... I wouldn't even call it a puzzle. You literally just go through blasty sandstone blocks, and then you get this missile upgrade. You're done. We're at, like, what, 40? 35. No. Yeah, 40. This would, uh... Looks like we'll have roughly 45 missiles by the time we finish here. And I guess we'll just fucking deal with these scarabs again, because why not?
Well, I blasted a single war loss. That wasn't, you know, useless at all, but fuck it. I blame them. And then you go in through this tunnel here, and I believe... Yep, another missile upgrade. Or just head back the way we were. Okay. Oh, come on. So I think we'll go ahead and uh, do whatever collecting we're doing right now. And then... No way, you're not needed here. This room is actually surprising. Even though it's in complete darkness, it's actually uh, bright enough. Because I, this is I, this is the room where I turned up the brightness last time, but still, it is. Um, here we go. I forget where this leads. Okay. Interesting. Oh, if this leads where I think it does. Wait a sec. Oh, it leads me right where I want to go. That is incredibly convenient, actually. We are gonna go... We are gonna get another energy tank and another missile expansion, actually. So that's nice, but now we have to wait on this fucking platform. Oh, uh, you son of a bitch, I wasn't paying attention. Boom, okay. And then this next room... No, it's not this next room. Okay. Well, we do have some Chozo Lord here, too. I think there's... No? Alright. That's fine. So this is actually one of my favorite little uh, expansions to have to get. Because uh, what you do is, it's really simple. You activate the bomb slots. Okay, apparently for some reason I didn't jump there. Um, and the first two are really easy. Roll into the first one, bomb jump into the second one. The third one, however, is a pain in the ass. Oh, shit, I fucked up. That timing on the bomb jumps is what took me forever to get the first time I ever did this. I probably spent about 15 minutes just trying to figure out how the fuck I was supposed to do it. Okay, really? I got stuck? Alright. So, we'll go ahead. Oh, yeah. I'll just do a uh, quick. But this uh, is the center of the room, right? And then what we do. Oh, this is the room where I think to do this. Yeah. I can't wait till I get Plasma Beam. Plasma Beam essentially tears through everything. But that whole trip was all worth it just for another energy chain. And so from there, we just kind of jump here. And, uh, I figure we'll go ahead, take down Flagara. Um, I will try the speedrunning trick real quick. Okay. I'm glad the missiles have a blast radius on them, because, um... This is... I will say this, I do like the fact that in the Wii version, Metroid Prime Trilogy... Oh, hello. I keep forgetting that scarabs even exist in this game. Um, you can just aim your controller. If you miss, that's essentially on you. But during boss fights, it is such a bitch. Um, because you don't really get a lot of health, and moving is still fairly problematic, really. Um, moving. I'll say this. 
I do love this game. The moving, the platforming, it, and the platforming is fun. Um, however, in terms of uh, turning and such, not the tightest controls. Um, I tend to, apparently, from what I'm noticing about myself, I, uh, it looks like I have a tendency to like platformers that are a, uh, do I have to scan these all again? Yes, I do. That don't have exactly the greatest controls, but overall just tend to have really good gameplay. I'm gonna take this out right now because I'm not dealing with that shit. Oh, almost fell. Almost fell. Let's not do that. There's another one somewhere around here. I fucking know it. There it is. Cool. And I think this is our first, yeah, available scan of Venomweed. Venomweed is essentially, um, Tangleweed, but it also has the damage over time that this poisoned water does. Don't tell me there's a fifth one and I'm fucking missing it. I swear to god, I will s- oh, nope. We're good. Actually, while this cutscene is going, I'm gonna check my time real quick. Okay, this is reading about... Oh, wow. We're at about 40-some minutes, according to my audio, and because I apparently cannot trust my uh, my video recorder. So, we'll go ahead and call it a day here at the end of the Flagara fight. I mean, you guys have been with me so far, so I feel like I should at least reward you with one last fight. Cool. Now, this sucks. I don't like Reaper Vines just because they're flat out obnoxious. Alright, so this is the Flagara fight, and... I didn't save. Shit. Well, we're already running high on time, so... Let's go for it. I'm not gonna go for the trick unless... I might go for it on the very last bomb slide. Um, but otherwise, I'm gonna play it safe because I didn't save. Um... Okay. Okay, I got both the scans I needed. I was really tempted to do it just now, but... Again, we are on the harder difficulty, so my health is gonna plummet, as you guys saw in the first fight with the pipe totem. So, I'm not gonna do that. Like I said, I might give it a shot with the very, very last one. If I'm looking like I've got enough health. Ooh. Hey, could we- Oh, hello, hello, oh god, my health. Ow, hi. Shit. There. 
it. Ooh. So far, we're good on health. Yeah, the thing that sucks about Vulgar is you have to knock down those mirrors so that he kind of, like, freaks the fuck out and takes a nap or whatever. But... You also have to try and keep him stunned. Which also sucks. It looks like I'll probably give this a shot here on the very last one. Um, when I first started playing this, I did die to Flagara, I think, a, once or twice. Um, the last part is really hard. You can knock all these mirrors up, as you can tell, with just one um, missile, which is nice. Um, and the charge beam does blast Flagara pretty hard. Not 10 health, I've got 10 health, but with an extra energy tank. And I've got 9 pieces. And with that, we have won. I am amazed I honestly got out of that, uh, of that water, because I really thought I was going to die there. I definitely thought it was a lot more shallow than it was. Um, turns out it's not. So, we have beaten Flagara, Flagra, something like that. Um, and lo and behold, the water is clear, so we no longer have to worry about the poison water, but yet we're about to go into Magmore Caverns, where we now have to handle lava. 
But, bright side, look what we got here. Various suit. So we'll go ahead and grab this. And then we'll head for our nearest save station, and we will call it a day on this one. My uh, goal here is honestly not to um, get a major boss in every part, but I figured Flagara's right here. Fuck it, let's go for it. Um, the next major boss is going to be Thardis, and it's going to be a little while before we can get to him. I'm thinking maybe two, three parts before we get there. Um, but, for now, if I can jump off this fucking ledge... Are you serious? Okay, apparently I'm going to double bomb jump. Because Samus decided that today was going to not be a day where she does shit. Go on the thing. Could you do the thing? Can you please? Be appreciated. And now we have the scan for the Ultra Energy, which is a full energy tank, which is lovely, especially after boss fights. Um, now. Yeah, right here we have our first Pulse Bomb move, I think. Pulse Bomb move, yeah. We can't kill them right now. Like, there's literally no getting around them. There's nothing we can do about it. I might be able to get a scan here if I can aim for far down enough. Actually, hold on. I am gonna give this a shot. Nope, apparently that's not happening. Ooh, but there is a Chozo Lord here. I'll go ahead and pick that up. Is there any more? Nope, I'm getting out. That's a lot of War Wasps to deal with at once. And from here... We're just gonna go straight into Magmore Caverns because there is a save room right inside. I did want to try and get the uh, creature scan right there, but apparently the game was not fucking having it. So, not a big deal. We can always pick him up later because we do have to go back to Flagara's room to pick up an artifact later. Um, we're, we'll literally just jump down here. Cool. Get a little staggered. Not a big deal. It's not like we took damage. Or maybe we did, I wasn't paying attention. But I'm pretty sure there is no wall damage in this game. There's haha you fucked up damage, but like trying to get that uh that uh bomb trick that I can't do apparently. Anyway, so we're gonna go and save and I will see you guys next time. Please like, subscribe, comment, anything. I'm trying, I would love to do this as a living, and I would love to have your guys' support, um, but quite literally, I can't do this without you, so please, whatever would be appreciated. Thank you. And just like that, we are off. Thought I'd give you a little outro. And see ya!